my name is Dr. Mary Ann Bender, and I'm a podiatrist at Wild Foot and Ankle Institute's Oak Park location. Women's feet are different than men's. When considering your gym shoes, many of us need a narrower heel and a wider toe box. Also, the heel counter is back here and it needs to be nice and firm. A thick outsole will give you some cushioning when you're walking and also protect the foot from injury. Finally, a meshy type of material can prevent constriction and irritation of the toes. Now, consider using a dress shoe with a lower heel or a dress shoe with a chunkier heel. These will give you more stability and cause less pain. Also think about your toes. You don't want a shoe that is too pointy in the forefoot. This can cause corns, hammer toes, and can worsen bunion pain. Many of you love wearing high heels, but we recommend not higher than one and a half inches. And if you are gonna wear high heels, limit your time to two hours. The reason you need to limit your high heel use is that high heels put your foot in this type of position where you're putting more pressure on the forefoot. This can lead to stress fractures, toe pain. It can also lead to ankle sprains because your foot and ankle are unstable. One of the surprising things is that prolonged high heel use can also lead to shin splints, which is irritation on the front of your leg, knee pain, hip pain, and back pain as we lean forward with high heels to stabilize ourselves. If you have pain from your shoes, please come visit us at Wild Foot and Ankle Institute.